So in Mark 10, 29, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Increase, increase, increase in the ears and hearts of those that are watching this video. And increase in me, Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. And Jesus answered and said, Verily I say unto you, There is no man that has left house, or brother or sister, or father or mother, or wife, children or lands, for my sake and the gospels. Many of you were called um, out of you know, religious systems, which with, um, that were taught, um, let me see, it was given over to traditions of men, which caused a lot of mixture. And there was a lot of confusion, um, that you grew up in and God, when you started learning more of the truth and reading the Bible for yourself, God removed you and he led you, um, away so you can learn more. So, you know, whatever is on you that is not of God, the Lord has exposed that to you and broke those things off of you. And so you were led away, not because you were perfect. It's because you come into more truth of the word of God, God revealed to you the truths and the lies, his spirit as opposed to demonic spirits, right? And so when the Lord um, asks you to walk away, distance yourself, move to another place, um, you know, you obeyed. So he said, but he shall receive a hundredfold now in this time, houses and brethren and sister and mothers and children in land. See, the people that you walked away from thought you were crazy. They thought something was wrong with you because as you started going and coming into more truth, um, they begin to talk about you and slander you and talk behind your back. And they started looking at you as last. There are certain positions and things that, you know, positions and, um, that the Lord asked you to take and things that he asked you to do. And they thought you were crazy. You were still learning and, and growing in the Lord. And, and he was opening your eyes, opening your eyes to more of his truth and who he is opening your eyes to his love and how he loves and so the people that you grew up with and the religious traditions that you have grew up in, the Lord has plucked you, moved you away and plucked you out of all of that. And so these, your stance in obedience has offended many people in your life. And it could be family members. And because you see the truth, because God has revealed the lie, has uncovered this lie, you know, people have mocked you and considered you last, considered you out of your mind, said something was wrong with you because you have come into full truth and they are still blind, right? And so I pray that this encourages you because the Lord was ministering to me about, you know, the hundredfold and how he was going to bless you with the things that you walked away with, um, walked away from and those who you walked away from. And, you know, he was also talking to me about the position that he's put a lot of his children in where the world will look at them as last. We have two kingdoms. There are two kingdoms here on the earth. There's a kingdom of darkness. And there's God's kingdom, the kingdom of light. And so the way the world operates, they operate on appearance. This is a worldly, this is a worldly thing that we are taught to operate in appearance to, you know, if something appears glittery, then it's good. Then the heart is good. But see, that's always a lot. That's a lie. That's a lie. And you know, if, if people, you know, they got their, their homes right and their, their car right. And they're looking at their toiling. Then the world looks at that as a person being right in their heart. But see, the Bible speaks something totally different. You know, um, there, there's a lot of, um, the thing is when God places has, 
his children go into humility, complete humility, that is complete surrender to his will and his way, you will be, you will look, you will be looked at as crazy. You will be looked at as, you know, if he's tell, telling you to, you walked away from your material possessions, people will look at you like you're crazy, but there is a spiritual growth that takes place in, in being obedient to the Lord. And when people, when you are in a situation where you don't look like you have everything and people will judge you on that heavily but you're being obedient to the Lord, but the world will view you as last. They'll look at you as last, but God looks at you as first because you humbled yourself before him to learn more of him, to go deeper with him, to take positions that he has asked you to take, to posture your heart the way he has willed you to posture your heart in humility, in surrender, and you have submitted to the will of the God, so to the will of the Lord. So the world will look at you as last because you lack certain material possessions. But God, the kingdom of God, looks at you as first. You're considered first in the kingdom. The word says, but many that are first shall be last. So the ones that have considered you last, the ones that have considered you last, that didn't think that you were first, they're going to be considered last. Do you understand what I'm saying? I hope you follow this word. I hope it encourages you in the name of Jesus. God's promise is that he is restoring a hundredfold now in this time, houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecution. So when the Lord is, he's, he's ready to bless you all at once with the, the bountiful things that he has spoken that he was going to pour over you and bless you because you didn't go toil the world's way. You stayed faithful. You ministered. You did what God was telling you to do. You humbled yourself before the Lord. You took a certain lowly position before people and you were, cons and, and people considered you last. And this is not for everybody because not everybody is thinking like this, but he uses the, he uses the, the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. And so the many of people that thought that you should be considered last in this world, God in the kingdom considers you first. And so this is why the blessings are going to be poured to you because you were in a lowly position and you did what God was telling you to do. And, you know, um, you were being tested and so were other people being tested but the word stands true. God's word stands true. He said what he said. And many of you, you walked away from everything from the Lord and you followed Jesus. And people thought you were crazy. They mocked you. They slandered you. So when God begins to bless you, yes, it's going to come with persecution because they, those people will continually think that you don't deserve what God has for you because in their mind, they considered you to be last. Hallelujah.